皆さんどうも、ライゾと申します。はい、I'm Light and welcome today the next 20 kanji of kanji cafe. All the kanji you need to know right here. You can find it in the description, the Anki and PDF file, or the actual spiral book, which is amazing. Thank you for all the support and purchases such far. Now, today, the next 20, we're going, we're going to start with 61 over here. And this is the last 20. Of grade 1 kanji, then we'll be going to grade 2 kanji. So let's flip the book. At the top, we can see 61. Now, if you want to follow this whole playlist, the series, you can check the playlist. There's a link below. Or if you already know the kanji or following it, let's continue with 61 with town block street. Now, you can see already two kanji in here. Rice field over there and tools, but looks like nails with damaged bottom hook, right? And here's the mnemonic. I'll read the mnemonic people building town with nails and tools next to rice field. Good, you can just imagine there's a rice field building a town. With the tools, pretty easy. Next, we have white. Now, we already covered sun or day at the bottom, and at the top, we have a whoop. The mnemonic reads whoop from the sun if you stare at it too long. You then see white. So, if you look in the sun for too long, it's whooping your eyes, your sight. And then you look away, then you see that white kind of dot or line, right? That's what I'm talking about. Next, we have 30, uh, 63, a hundred. Now, a hundred over here, we have at the top one, and then the, just the previous kanji, white, at the bottom. Pretty easy. Now, sometimes with a mnemonic, you can see a, a picture. Now, we have one white. Shirt, as you can see here, one white shirt needs 100 washes to become clean again. So, 100 washes this one sh、uh, white shirt needs. Interesting. Next, we have I. We don't need a mnemonic for this if you look at it here below, but Let's read. So, top and bottom box are white, center is the pupil of the eye. Just imagine that. Next, we have stone. Don't confuse this with hidari or migi, left and right over here. Mouth used as stone over here. And the mnemonic is saying that the crane machine, this stroke and this stroke, so the no and ichi, this is becoming a crane. So, crane machine gets ready to lift the stone over here. Easy. Number 70. Ear. You can see we have eyes in there. Now, two mnemonics. Looking similar to eyes, it's an ear attached to face. Vertical stroke order on the right. That's the attachment to the face. With other points sticking out being piercings over here, 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 the piercings. Or pointy things next to eyes or ears. So it's an eye and pointy things next to eyes or ears. Good. 71. Insect bug. We have mouth and we have in or inside. This is inside. Can see it as, as both, but try to see the full picture here where the bottom is new. So, inside mouth is an insect. This is the insect body with head. This is the small body with a head, small body of the insect with a head. So, inside the mouth is an insect body with head. You can also see it as a mouth with a toothpick getting the insect from your mouth, but、um, yeah, it's up to you. To see, 
we have at the top eyes obviously so it's going to be something with your vision and human legs at the bottom we've covered this before so walking eyes you have the eyes and human legs walking to see everything good next we have shellfish at the top we have eyes we have eight kanji for eight at the bottom but it looks like mini legs over here so shellfish with eyes and short legs walking slow literally looks like one with short legs walking slow next is red at the top we have ground earth dirt we've covered this before at the bottom this is new so we in the mnemonic section we say this is dig in ground this is the ground you dig in the ground with spade spade over here and the hook for bottom strokes then you'll find red clay this is in red easy foot the top we have mouth it looks like a head if you see the full picture so we have here the body and arm on the right connected to the head two legs stretching to the left that's the mnemonic so we have the body we have the arm connected to the head the legs we hear legs stretching to the left we hear legs can also be seen as a foot car vehicle now at the top we have two and one two and we have a sunny day sun or day in here in the center now the mnemonic reads car with four open seats one two three four two top and bottom horizontal bars four wheels so one and two and the center axis over here you can also see the two strokes which exactly as to this one is shorter this one is longer very easy gold money metal at the top we have the roof okay roof at the top we have this line it's one looks like a floor so we have the roof and the floor and then underneath that we have the ground kanji over here as you can see and then these two strokes represent the gold or the money in the ground so the mnemonic is roof over floor under that we have the ground with two gold pieces in the ground we have rain this is pretty easy upside down box over here upside down box then we have sw four small strokes over here as the rain raindrops the mnemonic is saying you receive a big letter T this is a letter T for thank you in an upside down box full of raindrops rain Canton. number 79 we have moon or month at the bottom and at the top it's it's very similar to life born raw like um, this kanji over here so the top kanji is a three with a line crossing it so one two three also the st stroke length is the same with a line crossing it then we have a moon or month over here so the mnemonic reads every blue moon moon three will grow a body the straight line almost like a werewolf and that's blue the last kanji for grade one in elementary school is sound noise stand at the top sun or day it looks like speakers also in this kanji if you have standing on speakers for the sound so the mnemonic is automatically number one standing up on a sunny day because of the sound or you can say mnemonic number two standing on speakers for more sound you can choose whichever fits you best now this is the end of the 80 kanji next we'll cover grade two in elementary school which is my daughter 
Um, my daughter is now in grade two here in Japan, and she's covering all this kanji, this and this page. And I'm actually using Kanji Cafe for her, translating this in Japanese, you know, enabling her to memorize it much faster because in the school they write too much. You shouldn't write too much. And uh, it's easier if you just connect meaning uh, to something you study, right? So try and follow the mnemonics and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Matane.